<clears throat> Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of our NHL 21 customization series. Today we're going to be taking a look at the Colorado Rockies and I'm going to be showing you how to create them in NHL 21. Without further ado, let's get right into the video. So here are the details. Uh, the team name is Rockies. The city name is Colorado. Team nickname, of course, Rockies. Play-by-play -play team name, Rockies. Uh, the abbreviation is COL for Colorado. Uh, the arena name is Mick Nichols Sports Arena. Uh, this was the actual arena that they played at. Uh, for team prestige, average. For market size, large. Uh, local fan base, devoted. Um, national fan base, typical. Local popularity high, and national popularity average. And then I just put the concession levels and all that as level one. Um, so obviously there you can see the, uh, the uniform, and we're going to get right into those. Ah, first, I forgot to mention, we're going to be doing the logos. Um, so here's the primary logo. Uh, I think it's pretty accurate. Um, it's about the best you can do. That's the theme with all of these. Um, there is a little bit of a difference there at the uh, at the actual logo at the C there. Um, you just couldn't get it exactly right, but like I said, it's close you can get. Um, so we'll go through the coloring. Oh, actually first, I'll show you guys the team colors. I picked blue, yellow, and red, and I'll actually show you guys how to find those. So with the blue, I went to, let's go NHL colors here, the Toronto blue. Uh, for the yellow, I'll click out, oh, went too far. I'll click out of there, and the yellow, oh, sorry about that. With the yellow here, I think it's the... The penguins yellow and with the red as per usual pretty much any red I pick is going to be from the Detroit Red Wings oh there you go so that's where you can get all those colors because I know a lot of people asked uh, in the very first the Seattle Krakens video and I kind of wanted to show everybody uh, where you could get these colors or where I got them personally. Uh, so this is the primary logo. Um, it is can be found here in the vintage logos. Uh, and same with the secondary logos can be found there as well. Uh, and here's the coloring scheme. I'll let you fill that out. All right, we're going to move on to the next one. So we got here the secondary logo. Same place as the, uh, as the primary logo just right here and that's the same with this one and the tertiary logo uh, so we'll get out of there and I'll show you guys the coloring scheme all right and then for this one it's a little bit different um, you guys will have to wait to see this one for the alternate jersey um, but I'll show you guys the coloring scheme here all right okay so then now I'll show you guys the actual uniforms. All right, so here we are at the uniforms. Uh, here's the home jersey. Uh, but first, I do want to show you guys what I modeled these after. Um, as you can see, I think it's pretty close. I'm pretty pleased with it overall. Um, but I'm going to show you guys the jersey I picked out. So the jersey style here is number 84. Um, I'll do a little 360 there. Jersey style number 84. I'll show you guys the jersey coloring, and I'll let you guys copy this all down. All right, moving on. Uh, we'll move on here to the logos. So I'm not going to do this for the away, but because it's all the same. But for the chest there, it's the primary logo. And for both shoulders, it's the first secondary logo I had picked. Uh, and then I'll show you guys the fonts. I picked font style number 27. I just think it fit the best. Um, and then I'll show you guys the font coloring. All right, I'm going to assume you guys got that all copied down. 
So I'll move on here to the pants. So we picked pant style number 18. Or I picked pant style number 18. Yeah, it's just pretty much the closest uh, to the as possible. I think it's actually pretty accurate. It would only make it even more accurate if it went all the way around the pant leg. For some reason, it just doesn't. It cuts off there in the middle. Um, and then I'll show you guys the coloring here. All right, I assume you guys got that all down. Uh, there obviously is no logo for the pants. Um, and then we'll move on here to the socks. As normal, these teams are very unoriginal. Sock style number one fits the best. It pretty much always fits the best uh, for most socks, but especially these old jerseys. I'll show you guys the coloring right now. All right, I assume you guys got that filled out. So we'll move on here to the away jersey. Uh, oh, I did want to mention the skater equipment. It's all just uh, apply team color for all this, so no need to worry. Uh, on the away jersey, I'll show you guys what I got. It's the same jersey style, jersey style number 84. I'll show you guys the coloring. I'll let you copy that down. All right. Um, and then here's the logos. It's the same. Actually, no, I said I wasn't going to show you guys the logos. It's the same as before. Um, just the primary logo on the front and the secondary logo on the shoulders. Uh, and then for fonts here, it's font style number 27. Same as before. And then the font coloring. I'll let you guys copy this all down. All right. Assume you guys got that down. Um, and then the pants, from what I could see, pretty much the exact same. Uh, pant style number 18. And I'll show you guys the pant coloring. It's the exact same as before. All right. Uh, and then I'll show you the socks. It's the same one, sock style number one. And then I'll show you guys the sock color. All right. I assume you guys got that down. It's pretty easy. Uh, and then the skater equipment, like I said, just apply team color. I just, I, I wasn't getting intricate with the gloves and anything like that. So, uh, no real need to worry about that. Uh, and then here's what I picked for the alternate. Um, basically what I wanted, it's kind of bright actually now looking at it. Um, but basically what I wanted out of this was a more modern version, um, of the Colorado Rocky uniforms. Um, and just kind of with my own little twist. So I'll show you guys what jersey I picked out. I picked out jersey style number 63. Um, I'll show you guys the jersey coloring here. I'll let you guys copy that down if you want to copy these. Obviously you can go with your own for the alternate. doesn't really matter. Since it's definitely not true to everything. Um, and then the main logo here is the tertiary logo. It's got the blue uh, C instead of the red C. Um... And then I'll show you guys the fonts. It's just font style number 16. I just like that one. And then here's the coloring for the fonts. All right. And the uh, I went with the pants. I went a little bit different than uh, the other ones. Pants style number 9. And then I'll show you guys the coloring. Um, and this one does have the logo, as you can see there, on the the left pant leg. It's just the primary logo. Uh, and then the socks. I'm also very unoriginal. It's just sock style number one. And then I'll show you guys the sock color. All right. And yeah, and I didn't really... I don't think I did anything crazy for the... Uh, for the glove color, but I might have, so just in case. Uh, if you don't know, I usually make these, um, like usually during the work week, uh, just one night, and I made this a few days ago, and I don't really remember exactly. Um, but yeah, here's the, uh, the glove coloring. And then the helmet is pretty basic, it's just the helmet. Um, but this one is a little bit different, because it does have the numbers there on front. So yeah, uh, that was the Colorado Rockies. If you guys liked, remember to click like and subscribe. And as always, have an awesome day.